Okay, so in this video we're going to enable the Remember Password History feature. Uh, this prevents someone from using the same password over and over. So um, to go ahead and enable it, uh, let's go ahead and open up a terminal. And since I've opened it up before, it shows right there. And we are first going to check for the existence of a, a file called O password. Um, so that is it. We're going to change to Etsy security. And if we do ls to list the files, here's the file that we want to make sure exists. Okay. Um, at that point, we're going to actually edit the common password file, which is located in Etsy PAMD. I'll do an ls to list again. And this is the file that we're going to edit. So we're going to use our graphical editor again to edit that file. So I'm using gedit and I put in the name of the file. Type in my password. And there we go. So what we're going to look for is pam underscore unix dot so. Once I find that line that has that, which is right here, I'm going to at the very end of the line, I want to add password remember equals whatever number I want. So here I'll say 10. So this case is going to remember 10 passwords. So we'll hit save. Close the file out. And now um, to test it out, I mean we're done. It, it'll work now. But to test it out, um, let's, let's go ahead and change some passwords. Um, however, if we run this on, on our users, Right now we're going to run into a problem and that's because we previously enabled the minimum number of days. So just to look at that, we do sudo change minus L for our user and we'll look at Cameron. So here, if you see, we have minimum number of days between password change. Um, and we last changed it today, so we're going to have a problem. So we can go ahead and overwrite that by changing it back to zero. So we do sudo change and remember lowercase m with the value zero and the username Cameron uh, up arrow two times to list it again. And now we can see we can change Cameron's password. So now if I do this as root, I can I can reuse the password over and over again because um, using sudo essentially will run it as root. I can do that. So to actually test it properly. We need to become that user Cameron. So the way we're going to do that is sudo su dash Cameron. And you can see right here, our username is Cameron. And just to verify if I type in who am I, we can see my username is Cameron. So to change a password, all we do is type in passwd. We hit enter. And it says changing password for Cameron. So it's asking for our current password, which is the super cute secure word of password and now we enter a new password so I want to type in Joe is man Joe is man and there we go so we have our password changed now if I want to change it back to password I'm going to type in password again so current Joe is man and our new one P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D we hit enter and it tells us password has already been used. Choose another. So as you can see, um, making a change to the PAM uh, D common password file takes place immediately um, for all users in the system. And that's it. Thank you.